so this is what really happened here in ghana yesterday it was beautiful candlelight for mobile very very beautiful people turned up in the enormous you see somebody writing r.i.p mobile with a candle in ghana DJ Paco Rich. Hello, people. My name is DJ Paco Rich. Welcome to your most favorite channel here on YouTube, Authoritative. <laughs> so I saw this spray somewhere and I bought it, and it's always been on my desk. I haven't even used it before. Somebody said if you want to get more views, you can use this. <laughs> it's funny, but it's all about hard work. Um, my name is DJ Paco Rich, aka Mazi, aka O2. By AK Siriki 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 Siriki, how you doing? Yes, I believe you're watching this video from um, various parts of the world, uh, different type of uh, how do you call co continent or not? So they call up. So people might be in Europe watching me. People might be in America. Some might be in Asia and all other places. In fact, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I'm going to encourage you to do that because um, it is what it is. You have to because we have lots of good content for you here to enjoy and so i would encourage you to do that now today i'm going to talk about something and um, we all know about this more bad more bad thing in fact i did a story on that and i decided not to follow up again because the incidents and the euphoria around mobat's death was just confusing and if you are not careful you might be misleaded with certain information and all that so i decided to lay back and just give you know pay him normal respect that as a human being as an entertainer in the industry has passed away so we'd all have to you know um, pay him respect and all that and so um i did that and i decided to lay back but a lot of activities are going on and i felt like this particular one needs to be spoken about yes so yesterday i um, already i have seen videos from nigeria when they held the candle night for you know a uh, mobile that's beautiful that shows that africans we have some unique love for the dead which i feel i would address that one later on because looking at this attention that mobile has been able to gather few weeks or few months after his death if he had this same support yo that guy would have been a superstar but let's say the stories around his death has you know gathered this kind of sympathy love for him and there is nothing wrong about that i mean sometimes when people die we get to know them better and mobile is not an exceptional people are getting to love and getting to know him more in his death so Probably if the family are able to, you know, lay one or two staffs there for their kids. His streams that will even come can take care of the family. That's beautiful. So in Ghana, an event has been held on behalf of Mobad. Yes. An event, candle light has been, you know, done here in Ghana by one very influential woman very controversial and influential in ghana her name is called ifia schwarzenegger yes her name is called ifia schwarzenegger i mean anybody in the ghana entertainment space knows who ifia schwarzenegger is queen schwarzenegger and she did this in collaboration with the ceo of nk city office that is one of the biggest club we have in our cross painters yes um they paid tribute and they held a candlelight for mobile yes and it came with a lot of controversy people were saying nigerian will not do this for a ghanaian artist if this happens to a ghanaian so why are ghanaians rushing to you know hold a candlelight for you know mobile and I said to myself, I've been preaching this on this platform that, see, forget about what you see on social media, the banters and the rants and all that. Ghana and Nigeria might disagree on so many platforms, on so many issues. But when it comes to love, genuinely, 
Like, let's say Ghana and Nigeria, the quarrel, then you, Kenya, or South Africa will come talk some. You go become third person. They are just like siblings at home who will always fight over unnecessary things, but the love they have for each other is unique. And that is what I've been always been preaching. I'm going to show you videos of this event and how people turned up. So if you don't know the woman I'm talking about, this is her picture. Queen Efia Schwarzenegger. She's the one that front led, drove the whole uh, mobile candlelight in Ghana. Yes. And this is the owner of the venue, uh, NK City Office. His name is Inshaba Kojo. He's a musician as well. And he's into nightclub business and all that. Very, 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 very rich guy here in Ghana. And he gave his office out. The reason being that I did my investigation. His key clients who have been patronizing his club business are Nigerians. And according from, uh, I mean, from a very reliable source, I heard that most of the Nigerian musicians, when they come together, they do visit his pub. So probably even Mobad himself and his team have been there before. And so if something like that had happened to him, let's put all other sentiments aside and show love. I've seen a lot of people saying Nigerians won't do this for Ghana. So let me ask you, if they are not going to do that for us, does it mean if you also can do something for them, you won't? Of course, there is so much love that a lot of Nigerians have shown Ghanaians that is not even in the public domain. I can even tell you one, but because of privacy issues, I would have to keep it. And so, let me show you videos of what really, really happened yesterday. So, as you can see, the person that led the whole campaign printed a t-shirt and gave other people the t-shirts. They came, they showed up for mobile. A lot of people were at the events, the candlelight of Mobad here live in Ghana, led by the Fia Schwarzenegger, with a lot of people turning up. Not only Ghanaians, not only Nigerians, but people from Africa. And this is the love that we are looking for as people of Africa. We need to show ourselves that love. Just look at people that turned up. The love was so great that everything, I mean, everything was so perfect and superb. And this is what we are talking about. That forget about the banters and stuff. You can see her spraying money on um, mobile poster and all that. It was a very successful and beautiful event. And I would applaud her. You see, she's a very rowdy person that everybody, you know, have issues with her in Ghana. But when it comes to things that really matters with heart, she goes all out with a lot of passion to do that. So, please, let's encourage her and let's applaud her for what she has done. Even if not for anything, she's been able to rekindle the love between Ghana and Nigeria just by organizing an event like this. It was beautiful, it was all love, it was all nice, it was all sweet to see Ghana and Nigeria come together to fight for justice. And this is what we are talking about. And I'm telling you, you see the current um, demonstrations going on in Ghana, definitely. When it gets to that line, you'll see Nigeria showing up for Ghana, trust me. Like the way Ghana you know, went behind Nigeria when answers came up. You understand? So this is what really happened here in Ghana yesterday. It was beautiful, candlelight for mobile, very, very beautiful. People turned up in the enormous. You see somebody writing RIP mobile with a candle in Ghana when they did a candle night for mobile here live in Ghana. This is love between Ghana and Nigeria you might not see. But the love is real, people. So let's not encourage this whole social media hatred and, and banters and all that. So God bless Efia Shwasnega for this beautiful event that she put on there. My name is DJ Parkourich, a.k.a. Mazi. Let me know what you think about this whole issue, this whole event. Do you think we should be looking out for each other as time goes on? For me, I say yes to that. Because we are all Africans and we are all one black people. We stand for one thing. 
When it touches Nigeria, it touches Ghana. And we have shown Mobile that kind of love. This is beautiful. And let's applaud Ghana and if you're a nigga for the great work they did. My name is DJ Parker Rich, AK Mazi. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I love you. Let me know also where you're watching this video from. Much love. DJ Paco Rich.